Thank you very much, uh, Maria. Uh, today I'm talking about uh, the preliminary re results of a joint field experiment uh, that we perform in the Po Valley in 2012 in collaboration with uh, two projects, the European project uh, Pegasus, uh, dealing with the gas aerosol climate interaction and uh, the uh, regional uh, uh, environmental agency of Emilia Romagna, my region in Italy, uh, Supersito uh, project. Um, what I want to show you is uh, a real, if you want, aspect of the coupling between uh, air quality and climate change, uh, which uh, here are shown to be really the same side of the same coin. Um, in particular, I will look to the response of uh, uh, atmospheric uh, PM composition to the climate change. Um, the particular matter concentration and chemistry is well known, uh, that is determined not only by the emission, but also by the photochemical process by the thermodynamic state of the atmosphere. Uh, Anne-Marie Carton was uh, showing very well uh, the example for the SOA formation and in turn uh, they affect the uh, transformation and uh, uh, as well as the dry and the wet uh, deposition. So uh, what we will do in the Po Valley, uh, we, uh, we did a huge experiment in the summer of uh, 2012 in uh, June and July in the very hot period and uh, uh, we were measuring uh, aerosol and gas uh, concurrently in uh, three uh, different uh, field stations. Uh, a station in Bologna, so a, a, um, a, an urban uh, station, a, a st the station of San Pietro Capofiume, which is a typical uh, rural station of the Po Valley, and the mountain site uh, in, the, um, in the Apennine, the Monte Cimone station. Moreover, uh, we could use uh, this fantastic uh, toy, which is uh, the uh, Zeppelin uh, platform that uh, was flying uh, all over the valley doing a vertical and uh, horizontal profile and helping a lot for the interpretation of uh, uh, our data. Uh, during uh, this uh, experiment, uh, we were lucky to observe a really a strong uh, seasonal anomaly. Uh, the first part of the campaign uh, was was characterized by, let's say, average condition with uh, some rain, hot temperature, but on the average. While during the second part of the uh, campaign, the temperature uh, increased a lot. And you observe here that uh, for the southern part of uh, the uh, Po Valley, of the Po Valley, there are uh, a high number of days uh, with the temperature maximum more than 35 degrees, and this was long for days and days. Uh, also, we observed in uh, the rural site a strong uh, decrease of the soil moisture. And this is uh, something which uh, is, is quite rare to observe at, at such a level. Uh, now, I want to start uh, with the very simple stuff, uh, which is uh, the nitrate, ammonium nitrate, um, uh, size uh, segregated chemistry. Here you see the results of a five stage uh, burner impactor. Um, you see the different impactor stages. And here I am comparing the uh, site of uh, San Pietro Capofiume, which in, is a rural site which has normally much uh, uh, higher uh, humidity, relative humidity, as compared to the rural site, to the, sorry, to the urban site of Bologna, uh, showing much lower temperature humidity. So you see immediately how much uh, the uh, distribution uh, on the impactor stage is changing. In San Pietro Capofiume, they are much more accumulating in the uh, lower impactor stages, while in Bologna we observed uh, that the nitrate is accumulating more more in the coarse fraction due to the uh, interaction with the alkaline fraction like uh, calcium. Um, another interesting feature, look uh, to the 
uh, humid side. From the beginning to the end of the campaign, we in general observed a decrease in the concentration. Then I will show you the average to convince how much uh, this is true. And uh, also, you see here are uh, the data are presented by night and day. So for every day, you observe. Uh, that there is a condensation of an, a nitrate in the particle uh, which is uh, uh, happening in the night during the cool and, uh, and humid conditions. So this is quite obvious uh, knowing uh, the chemistry of nitrate, but well, uh, when we did observe the water soluble organic carbon, which is 50% uh, of our carbon, maybe uh, more during the summer, we observe, we did the similar observation. This night today, uh, in the night, the uh, water soluble organic carbon concentration is increasing uh, due to the effect uh, of the relative humidity. And I want uh, um, to show you uh, why, from the meteorological point of view, for the vertical stratification, this happened. This is a profile of uh, relative humidity and temperature in San Pietro Capofiume during the night, you see a, a quite strong uh, temperature inversion at about 500, causing a real drop uh, in the relative humidity in the layers above. And uh, this is a measurement of uh, Zeppelin. So look at the nitrate or uh, 2NO2. They show much, much higher concentration at the ground as compared to the higher levels. So there is a really a strong uh, uh, delta between the two layers. Uh, this is also true, I have not all the picture here, but uh, this is also true for the organic carbon observed on the Zeppelin by MS. And for organic carbon, there is another very interesting observation that is uh, on the lower la layer, uh, below 500, the oxidation state of the organic carbon was much lower than in the upper layer. This means we have more fresh, less aged aerosol in the uh, lower level. Um, here uh, two very simple plot showing uh, how uh, the nitrate during the whole experiment is correlating with the temperature and with the relative humidity. So it is evident that the correlation with the relative humidity uh, is uh, much higher and so um, uh, that uh, the uh, nitrate concentration is uh, really driven by the uh, liquid water content in the aerosol. And uh, uh, Similar trend, sorry, similar trend, even if uh, smoothes, uh, are observed for the semi-volatile OA. And in this, uh, I go back, uh, I want to recall what a few minutes ago Anne-Marie Carton was uh, showing, uh, the nice correlation between nitrate and uh, SVOA. This uh, fraction that I think we have to better interpret <laughs> from the uh, AMS data, but it's amazing uh, this coincidence. Um, here I use uh, also the work uh, of a um, Barbara Turpin group. Uh, oops, sorry, F5, okay. I come. Um, showing you uh, the um, aerosol liquid water content calculated by two different thermodynamic models. Uh, this is a paper which will be published uh, uh, soon in uh, uh, environmental science technology and the conclusion of this paper um, is uh, that uh, the uh, liquid water uh, content is uh, uh, driven by the anthropogenic formed nitrate. So the nitrate is a, a driving force for the water and then what we observe, we observe that the nitrate and the semi-volatile OA have very similar trend. They peak uh, uh, with this uh, night today uh, um, behavior similar in the same um, in the same days. Um, okay, so uh, 
I don't want to go into detail, uh, but I want only to say that uh, in the Po Valley we address, uh, we saw that SVOA is indicating uh, for the feature, for the daily variation uh, feature uh, which uh, indicate uh, local uh, pollution or local emission, let's say. Uh, and this, uh, you can uh, easily see this uh, if you compare with the uh, HOA, which is a fraction which is connected to the traffic, while the pattern of the low volatility OA is quite different. But I don't want to go in so many details since we, have, we are going now to, to do much more chemistry to understand what is inside this fraction. So I come to my conclusion. Uh, saying that uh, during uh, the uh, Povale uh, experiment, we observe a strong decrease, uh, you see here, in the concentration. Here are the average of uh, day and night for the humid days, and this is the average of uh, the dry days. So you observe the strong decrease. This strong decrease is due to the uh, 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 grid change of the concentration of low volatility OA, this, and uh, to the great uh, decrease of uh, ammonium nitrate concentration. The other two blocks are quite constant, and this is, I think, is very very nice uh, to show the effect of semi-volatility with uh, a climate change uh, uh, due to this uh, hot wave. Well, the uh, partitioning of uh, the semi-volatile in organic and organic compounds in aerosol uh, is sustained by this uh, nocturnal cooling in the atmosphere surface layer. Uh, uh, the reduced uh, condensation of uh, nitric acid and SVOC has uh, um, implication in the atmospheric chemistry since it's increasing the deposition rate and atmospheric degradation. So this process must be understood very well if you want to understand what will happen in the future for, uh, in climate change. Um, the combined effect of temperature and relative humidity, we think that they must be considered in the model uh, in order to be able to predict uh, the partitioning of semi-volatile uh, organics. Uh, this is expected to be very difficult, tricky and very uh, heterogeneous uh, geographically speaking. Uh, and uh, it was recalling to me, even if it's very different, uh, the message that uh, yesterday, no, two days ago, Aqua Haza uh, talk uh, was doing when she was observing uh, how much is dif difficult uh, to uh, predict uh, the behavior of a semi volatile uh, salts like uh, the uh, amine salt of a nitrate changing relative humidity and temperature. It's, it's not something linear, it's not something that uh, you can go. So uh, for concluding I want to say that uh, the two regimes that we encountered during uh, the uh, Povale experiment we really thought uh, are a case of uh, future transition uh, uh, between uh, two climate belts, uh, a mid latitude and uh, subtropical, uh, and the observed uh, partitioning can be used or, or fully to understand and be able to better predict what we will observe in a future changing climate. And I thank you for your attention. Uh, now this is open for one or two questions. Uh, any questions from the audience? Ravi. Uh, thank you, Maria. Do, Christina, I'm sorry. I always get. Uh, quick question. Is the take home message that the increase in temperature drives out ammonium nitrate? Or is it that it actually affected because of the relative humidity itself? The message is that the effect of relative humidity is very strong, much more correlated to the concentration than temperature. And so the effect of liquid water content is more important, yeah. Thank you.